What's up guys, it's Brent here, and welcome to episode 2 of Project Ozone 2 in Titan Mode. So what is up guys, last episode we kind of introduced, uh, took a slow episode, got a few things done. Uh, I don't like that. Anyway, we left off with soaking up our tree, which has done a lot of it. That tree just grew. I don't know if it made it in the shot as I was opening, but this should be plenty of string. Oh yeah almost two stacks and then we will go ahead and cut this down get the all that wood awesome and then our magnet which we luckily got this time all right so we needed that to make our oak sieve go ahead and get some more torches I cannot remember we needed the silken mesh pretty sure it's two of these we have sticks I think we got everything let's go ahead and what Take all this back, I guess. It didn't like what we were doing. Ah, uh, not that one. This one. Do we not have everything? Oh, I guess we have all of our stuff converted. Okay. Now. Bam. Didn't shift. Shift. Got it. Awesome. So we got a sieve. Let's complete that quest. And I guess I will go ahead and put it right here. Center of the floor. Good place to sieve, and then we got this open area to expand off of. And then I think we're going to expand this way for farming stuff. And maybe, I don't know, maybe actually this way for farm. That way for mob farm. I'm not sure, and this might be our open area. Don't know. have not decided yet. Actually, what's interesting that I'm just now noticing is we started in a roofed forest. Oh. Usually they start you off in the ocean. Which, I don't know if that'll be good or bad for us, because that means we can't get... A good factor of spawning in the ocean is to get move fluid cows. But, oh well. So we got a bunch of good stuff. So let's go in our book. We're going to keep completing quests. Giant chance cube and loot chest. This, I don't want. <laughs> Before I accidentally misclick it. Tape measure, actually really good. Not right now, but when we're building stuff, it can come in handy. All right, so first thing I want to look at before we uh, get rocking. So I would like to go start a common like goal. And a good thing I think we could strive for is like, I want something we can work towards, is the ME controller. This would be like an awesome thing to have. But to do this, we're going to need to get in the mechanisms and need a, I think it's energetic. The energetic, what's it called? I'm not sure. N E wait, E N E R G I T. I spelled it wrong somewhere. I know it's an, a machine for mechanism. Uh, okay. Anyway, we can just do how to make these things. Mechanism shape crafting. Metallurgy confusers one we need. Hell you are. Aha. We're gonna need this, which is steel compressed iron. Steel casing, so compressed iron. We're going to need the pressure chamber, but actually we don't. We need TNT to get this. Cause we can compress it that way. So is that all we need for this? Osmium. Okay. So we need to be able to get to TNT. So, if we go to TNT, electrical steel is going to need a alloy smelter. Alloy smelter requires a QED. See, so this is the rabbit hole of this mod pack. And I think we can do, yeah, we can do all that. So that is our list. So the first thing we need is a QED. So we actually need to get sieving get a mob farm is actually might be the best thing to go off of which I think that's what I'm gonna do how many blocks do we have 40 let's go 40 blocks this way and make a basic mob farm to start off with because mob farm the loot bags for mob farms are just irreplaceable we're and I'm debating do you make a fall trap to start off with or do you make a grind trap like something I'm gonna have to stand over here and camp. 
because the fall trap would be good, but we don't really have a good mechanism for collecting all the stuff. And the only way you can open, like, do all the loot bags is if you have a good way to open them. And the best way to do that is, uh, with autonomous activators. So that would be a little ways away. It actually might be better for us to go. We'll come over here. We'll make us a little farming platform and go with a sword thing and then we'll go over there and work on a starting starting tools actually might be the best plan for this episode get some tools ready have a platform ready and have stuff starting to spawn in and then we can make either a pickaxe or a sword something that'll be really good for some looting because we're going to need a lot of ender pearls and a lot of diamonds diamonds are going to be coming from the loot bags more than likely to start off with or we could start breaking down some uh, cobblestone to gravel but I bet it's better the other way okay that's far enough out there uh, we have not okay we got plenty of wood on us let's go ahead and chisel this down so we can have some more of what we're using this one I'd also like some slabs let's make I don't know how many slabs do we want uh, let's go with 60. So we need to come over here. We'll make like a slabbed area around it on the bottom uh, part of the block so they can't spawn. Just to make it a little easier on us. Thinking two by two with the spawning area in front of that. And we'll make it pretty pretty large for now. And I think our first goal should be, actually, instead of using a pickaxe, we should probably look at and see if we can do a throwing star. The shuriken. Because there is uh, John Cena creepers, which are, are like pretty much supercharged creepers. Like the uh, ones that are struck by lightning. And they will mess us up and... I'm pretty sure even if you, they can't see you and they hit you, I'm pretty sure they'll explode and mess up your day. So I think what I'd like to do is do it this long and make like three different ones of these at this size. Just to give plenty of room for stuff to spawn without having to make it uh, super huge. So this is going to be it. It's going to need a couple blocks of space to build it, like build the walls around it. So I'm thinking this, give a block for that, let's see, we might just do two, we're actually running out of slabs faster than I thought we would, and then if we do like this, all the way around, that'll keep them contained in there. We'll start with one of these and I'll build some more later on if this works pretty well, and we can do this. Up here. I need to put some rails around this before I fall off. Alright, yeah, and that's definitely spawnable. So, what, since that's going to be right there, can I do this for now? I'm definitely going to have to go back over there. Let's go ahead and make. Ooh, only one more torch. It's definitely going to have to put these here and here for now. Because I want this to be uh, tall enough to spawn Enderman. So the roof will be made out of half slabs. This here. Then like that. I think that's what we're going to go with to start off with. And boop. And Alright, we need to go get some more half slabs. Run over here. So I think that's going to be good for now. It's not the prettiest... But it'll at least uh, get the job done. I think I'll break those slabs on the bottom part. Just to keep it consistent. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of these in slabs. And then we'll start off with this little... This will be five. It'll give a little room for spawning. Uh, it's going to be a manual farm anyway. Having a way to push them together might be something we could be interested in. So we don't have to uh, target as much. But I don't think it's going to matter a lot right now. Just having this set up 
It's five spawnable spaces. The only thing that's going to be a downfall to this is we're losing spawnable spaces over at that island. So that's going to be a slight problem. These are on the bottom. Okay. But yeah. I was making sure that was on the bottom rung. All right. Because if not, they would have spawned on top of this. But yeah, like I was saying, that island does limit some of our spawnable spaces by just a few. But since there's, it is a void world, we're still going to need more spaces to spawn in. That, that, okay. And with blood moons, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, it should be completely dark in there. And we're like 40 blocks away. Yeah, exactly 40. And then we built this, so 42. I'm not sure the exact spawnable spawn requirement, but I know you need some distance away. So I'm hoping this is good enough for now. Make a little walkway around it. So we'll go over there and we'll start working on our tinker tools. Hopefully by then we'll get something to try them on. All right, this is definitely not a big platform. Okay. And then that's something else I'll have to do is put up some railings. And we should be good. Nope, nothing yet. Okay. Let's come over here and make us our tinker tools to start off with. Probably inlay them on either side of the sieve. So to start, we need some planks and then some sticks. I can't remember how many of these you get per. Oh, you get four. So we'll go ahead and make about 12 of them. And then let me see if I remember. So it's log, blank pattern, this in a blank pattern. I need a crafting table and a blank pattern. And then a chest to give us the pattern chest. And there we go. Awesome. So we're gonna put the pattern chest right here. Oh, cool, and a quest I wasn't even trying to get. And then the stencil table next to it. Wait, let's, we have this crook for a reason. It works so well. I would like to also put a floor down underneath this stencil table just so we don't lose stuff. Purple door. Okay, cool. And then our stencils. We had left. I figured we would have some. Ah, eight. We'll go in here. So the first thing I want to check out, what options do we have? So we have the dagger. Can be thrown. Okay. That might be, th or no, th throwing knives is what we want, not the dagger. I think. Chisel, javelin. Damage at range, capacity low. Let's make both of these and try them out. Cause I've never tried the javelin. So let's do this and it's like the arrowhead. I don't see it over here. Maybe we can't do the javelin yet. Oh, it's on the side. Derp. And then I bet that was the wrong one too, wasn't it? But it was this one. I didn't even look. Um, javelin. It's that one. Yep. And then the throwing knife is a knife blade and a tool rod. So knife blade, tool rod. Okay. And then we're gonna need some stuff to build them out of. I'm pretty sure. Okay. What can we use? Cactus, obsidian, dark wood. We can't do. Man of Steel, Jade, Sapphire, Plastic. We probably could do Plastic, I think. Not sure. Flint and Stone, okay. We can definitely grab... We have the Cobblestone. Make it out of Stone, I guess, to start with. I didn't need to do this, but I did anyway. Alright. So if we put Stone... Did it again. It's the wrong one. Okay. I said it's most, more stone than that. Okay, stone arrowhead. Can we do stone t 
tough rod? Oh, that's tool rods. Tough rods. We can. Okay. Stone knife blade. Cannot be used to make tools. Oh, I bet that's the same thing for these ones. Crap, yeah. Made a derp. Okay. If it cannot be used to make a tool, we need flint. I wasted all that stone, didn't I? Wasted a lot of it. Ah, eh, not that much. Nine pieces. Eh. Not too bad. Okay, we need a stone hammer. Might as well go ahead and get a couple of these. Go ahead and shift them in there. I don't know how many we're going to need. Um... I don't know how much that's going to be in the way. Let's see if I do flint. I'm assuming it's three gravel gravel per flint. I don't know. One gravel equals one flint. Okay. So this should give us probably enough. I'm hoping. 21 gravel, 21 flint. Okay. Now we can try this again. So knife blade can be made out of flint. Let's go ahead and do that. One flint. Okay, knife blade. And then we need the arrowhead one. Let's not make this mistake again. For that. I don't think the tool rod can be... Oh, it can be made out of flint. Okay. Flint, flint. And then the tough rod can not be made of flint. What can we make this out of? Stone, can't use. Obsidian, netherrack, hmm. I'm assuming we're gonna have to use plastic. But we do not have plastic yet. Can you use slime? Uh, pink slime. So sad. Cause we could get over there. Hmm. I don't think we have any of that. Tear jerker. Magical wood. Plastic. Plastic would be the closest thing we could get. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and make our knife. Our, okay, this. Plus that. In some configuration. Will give us six of these we have zero spawns I'm assuming those are rubber trees let's go look at it ah, I'd hate to go over there I'm gonna have to break all this coming back nope I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait not gonna do it we need to eat before we start with death so we got the flint throwing knives Let me double check those tough rods. Yeah, it can only be used to make cast. Crap. I guess we could. That will get anything. Let's see if we get the rubber trees. Now, stone. And I think we just, yep, two stones. All right, well, we're gonna have to wait on that. And it looks like it's gonna be time to end the episode, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Let's actually first Claim our rewards before I forget. Got a loot chest. And a giant chance cube that I don't want to place. Maybe that's actually what we'll do next episode. We will go over there and maybe we'll put up some chance cubes. That could be fun. But we got a loot chest. Bottle of moss. Clown bottle. Smashing rock. Nothing that great. Bottle of moss could be good to get some mossy stone, but... Alright, throw some of the stuff in here till next time. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps us a lot. Let's me know what you're liking. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.